Okay, so it's actually pretty simple to figure out your soul contracts. Your soul contracts are going to be anybody that's very important or was very important in your life. That's your family, karmic relationships, soulmates, even really bad like love relationships or friendships, any patterns that you consistently have in your life, anything that's reoccurring that keeps showing up. It's thought that before we come here, we decide who we're going to come down here with, what lessons we want to learn, how we want to grow, how we want to expand, and we make different agreements with people that end up being in our lives. Any reoccurring challenges, relationships, or lessons that you keep running into. You can also have soul contracts with, say, plant medicine. I believe I have a soul contract with ayahuasca because it wasn't until I found her that my life completely transformed and she's been a huge part of my life. You have a soul contract with a place that you were born into or um, any part of the world that you feel really drawn to. But soul contracts are not always bad. They can be great relationships that you have. Maybe you have a great relationship with your mother. That's a soul contract. Maybe you have a horrible relationship with your father. That's also a soul contract. There's good news for any contracts that we have trouble breaking. Dolores Cannon, who took a lot of people through hypnosis and got a lot of similar answers about a lot of spiritual questions, gave us a way of actually breaking soul contracts when we feel like we're beating our head against a certain pattern in our life. Maybe we have a relationship with a person and it just is not getting better. There's a way to actually break the contract. Step one is to become conscious of it, to ask yourself through journaling or meditation, what patterns keep re reoccurring in my life? What struggles am I having that I can't seem to overcome? What relationships am I struggling with that we can't seem to make it better? You want to have an intention of breaking the contract. So the first thing you're going to do is find a quiet space, maybe light some sage or some incense, get into a really quiet place and think about the person that you want to break the contract with or the pattern that you want to break the contract with. Let's say it's with another person. Really visualize them in your mind. Visualize them as specifically as you can. Third is actually visualize yourself ripping up the contract. Fourth is speak your truth. Say to the person, we tried, we really tried, but it didn't work in this lifetime. Let's tear up the contract. Five is forgive and release them. Really forgive them because when we hold on to resentment and blame, that actually binds us more to the person. So say to them, I forgive you, I really forgive you, and I release you. Number six is forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for any part of you that has maybe hurt other people or any part of you that held on to this relationship too long. Really forgive yourself. Know that you were doing the best you could. Number seven is believe it's done and let go. Much love.